Okay, so social media is having a huge impact on businesses these days. One of the things that social media does a good job of is creating a web of connections across many different people. CRM systems, on the other hand, have focused more on how people and companies are connected to you, but not a very good job of showing you how they are all connected to each other. Now, the implication there is that you're missing vital information that you can use to help you win more deals, please more customers, accelerate the productivity of your team. So what does Dynamic CRM 2011 have to say about that? Well, connections are what Dynamics is, what Microsoft has included in Dynamics to do that. Connections are a way you can link together very complex, multi-dimensional relationships across any record, any, anything you can see in CRM can be linked to anything else in CRM. So that means, for instance, you can now more easily see the CPA or the law firm that a client might be linked to, or the person who referred you uh, into an opportunity, or a business brokerage may be able to see all the potential buyers that are interested in a business that they're currently involved in selling, as another example. So how do I make connections? Uh, well, it's pretty simple. I'm looking at my contact form here in CRM, actually inside of Microsoft Outlook right now, and I can just go up to, I'm, I'm currently on the Cat Francis record, and I can go up to the Connect button in the ribbon menu, and I get a couple of options here. I can connect this record to me uh, as one thing, so I can easily connect this to me, and I can say, uh, I'm actually a friend of Cat Francis, so I can choose my role as friend. And I can put some comments in here. Just in case anybody else in the organization happens to want to look at the record for Cat, they'll instantly know that, oh, well, Jeff knows Cat. Maybe I can contact Jeff for more information if I need it. So that's one way that I can make a connection. Very simple. Another way, by the way, to connect records to me might be if I'm on a sales team. So if you have an account management or a sales team that covers one large company, uh, multiple individuals in your organization can connect to that company to say, hey, I'm part of the sales team that focuses on this particular company or this particular account record. So very simple to just go up, click connect, click to me, choose the role that you're in, and you're done. Now, another way you can use a connection entity that might be even more uh, appealing is to be able to connect it to something else. So in this case, I'm going to go back to CAT again, and I'm going to say CAT is actually connected to a different record in Sierra, not to me. I'm going to connect CAT to an opportunity. And by the way, you can see all the different things here that CAT can be connected to. So I'm going to connect CAT to an opportunity. I'm going to choose one at random here and say OK. All right, now CAT's associated with that, and maybe I'm in a business where we have to have legal counsel or an attorney associated with every opportunity at some point in the process. So you can see the CRM's smart enough to know well, the only role that you can assign a contact to with, within a connection to an opportunity is the role of attorney, but I could have multiple roles here if I chose to. So I'm going to say, yes, that's true. CAT is the attorney who's working on this opportunity. Now, by the way, I can put some details here too. But I can also look at these other details to say, okay, I'm connecting from CAT to this in this role. And conversely, the, the opportunity is connected to CAT Francis in this other role. So I can have different roles depending on the perspective I'm in. If you work with a, a partner distribution channel, you might say, well, this company is the customer and this other company is the partner who's working with that customer to sell them the piece of equipment that we manufacture, for example. I can also set start and end dates for these connections. So I might say that Kat is the attorney on this opportunity, but that attorney relationship only lasts for the duration of the opportunity. I'm going to put an end date out there of three months into the future so that that connection, if someone looks at it in the future, they'll know that that's probably lapsed. It's probably not valid anymore, but at least I can see that it happened. So I'm going to save and close this. And so just like that, I've created two different connections to Cat Francis. And you can kind of start to see how this web of connections can be spun to connect many different things in many different ways, one to the other, within Dynamic CRM. But if I were another person coming in and now looking at Cat Francis's record, what would I see? Well, the easy way to see it is I can see the standard form for Cat Francis, and I come over here and look at connections, and just like that, I can see, oh, Cat is connected to Jeff Abels. Jeff's a user here, and he's a friend of Cat's. 
And down here I can see Cat is connected to this opportunity as the attorney. So if I'm someone who's calling Cat to provide service or as, a, as part of a sales opportunity, all of a sudden I'm equipped with this web of relationships that I can help to leverage to, uh, to thrill the active client, to win more business, or to overall just accelerate the performance of the team because I can now collaborate together in a much more visual, real way to get business done without having to uh, spin my tires trying to send a lot of emails to understand this relationship beforehand.